Two Highlands High School athletes were found with skin infections in the past two weeks. One of them a confirmed case of MRSA. And according to the Mayo Clinic, MRSA is caused by a type of staph bacteria that's become resistant to many of the antibiotics that you are used to treat ordinary staph infections. Garrett Berger talks with the SAISD spokesperson and parents about the precautions the school is now taking. It was news nobody was itching to hear about. My twins told me uh, they got out early from the practice because there was some kind of skin infection going on. Two cases of skin infections at Highlands High School in the past two weeks. When the school found out about the first case, which was confirmed to be MRSA, a district spokeswoman said it was past the contagious stage, but they sent a letter about it to the parents of athletes on the 17th. The school learned of another skin infection on Thursday, she said, and a letter was sent to all parents that time. And in both cases, they cleaned. This is athletes, and so we focus on the athletic facilities, but we've also been cleaning thoroughly the entire school. Yesterday, they went through classrooms and the athletic facilities and other areas, and they're going to do that again on uh, the weekend. Price said the second case has not been confirmed as MRSA. And despite popping up so soon after the first, Price said the district doesn't believe they're linked. Because of the timing and the contagious periods, and even though the first letter was sent September 17th, that was well, well past the contagious period timing. Still, news of the skin infections had parents concerned. You get all kinds of things in your mind, you know, when you hear something bad like that. And not everyone had gotten the word. I'm, it's kind of <laughs> shocking because it's kind of scary to me. <laughs> Though, they're all hoping for the best. I'm going to be looking closely at my son when he gets home. <laughs> <laughs> the district isn't sure about the source of either skin infection, but a spokeswoman said that parents shouldn't be scared. She did recommend that students take precautions, simple things like not sharing personal items like your towel or clothes, and of course, good old fashioned washing your hands. Live at Highlands High School, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News.